In the Catholic Church, the seal of confession or seal of the confessional is the absolute duty of priests not to disclose anything that they learn from penitents during the course of the sacrament of penance confession. Even where the seal of confession does not strictly apply, where there is no specific serious sin confessed for the purpose of receiving absolution, priests have a serious obligation not to cause scandal by the way they speak. Topic: History Topic. Gratian, who compiled the edicts of previous Catholic ecumenical councils and the principles of church law, published the Decretum about 1151. It includes the following declaration of the law as to the seal of confession. Let the priest who dares to make known the sins of his penitent be deposed. Gratian goes on to say that the violator of this law should be made a lifelong, ignominious wanderer, Canon 21 of the Fourth Council of the Lateran 1215, binding on the whole Church, laid down the obligation of secrecy in the following words. Let the priest absolutely beware that he does not by word or sign or by any manner whatever in any way betray the sinner, but if he should happen to need wiser counsel let him cautiously seek the same without any mention of person. For whoever shall dare to reveal a sin disclosed to him in the tribunal of penance we decree that he shall be not only deposed from the priestly office but that he shall also be sent into the confinement of a monastery to do perpetual penance. Notably, neither this canon nor the law of the decretum purports to enact for the first time the secrecy of confession. The 15th century English canonist William Lindwood speaks of two reasons why a priest is bound to keep secret a confession, the first being on account of the sacrament because it is almost quasi of the essence of the sacrament to keep secret the confession. In practice According to Roman Catholic canon law, the sacramental seal is inviolable, therefore it is absolutely forbidden for a confessor to betray in any way a penitent in words or in any manner and for any reason. The confessor is always an ordained priest, because in the Catholic Church only ordained priests can absolve sins, lay confession is not recognized. Any person who overhears a confession is likewise bound by the seal. Priests may not reveal what they have learned during confession to anyone, even under the threat of their own death or that of others. For a priest to break secrecy would lead to a lite sententiae automatic excommunication, the lifting of which is reserved to the Holy See, in fact, to the Pope himself. In the early modern period, some casuists Thomas Sanchez, etc., justified mental reservation, a form of deception which does not involve outright lying, in specific circumstances including when such an action is necessary to protect secrecy under the seal of the confessional. Other casuists considered gray areas in which it was unclear whether or not the seal was being violated. A priest who says, I do not know, is thus to be understood. I do not know with knowledge outside the seal of the confessional. St. Thomas Aquinas goes even farther and says that the priest knows the confession not as man, but as God knows it. There are limited cases where portions of a confession may be revealed to others, but always with the penitent's permission and always without actually revealing the penitent. S identity. This is the case, for example, with more serious offences, as some excommunicable offences are reserved to the Holy See and their permission to grant absolution must be obtained. In these cases, the priest hearing the confession asks the permission of the penitent to write a petition, using pseudonyms and containing the absolute minimum information necessary, to the bishop or to the apostolic penitentiary, the cardinal delegated by the pope to handle such requests. This request may be forwarded, sealed, through the apostolic delegate or nuncio in a country the Pope's ambassador, to be guarded by the privilege of a diplomatic pouch. Topic. Recognition by civil authorities Topic. The law of different jurisdictions in general requires people under certain circumstances to testify about facts known to them. In many cases the rule of evidence of confessional privilege forbids judicial inquiry into communications made under the seal of confession. There may be conflict between the obligation of confidentiality of confession and civil law. The U.S. state of Louisiana's Supreme Court ruled in 2014 that a priest may be compelled to testify about what he was told in the confessional regarding a particular sexual abuse case, leaving the priest at risk of excommunication if he even confirms that a confession took place, or jail for contempt of court should he refuse to testify. 
However, the court later ruled that a priest has no duty to report confidential information heard during a sacramental confession. See also Topic. Confessional privilege in the United States Pedro Marielus Garces, Martyr of the Seal of the Confessional I Confess, a 1953 Alfred Hitchcock film in which priest-penitent privilege is prominently featured John of Napomuk, the first Martyr of the Seal of the Confessional Mateo Correa Magalanes, Martyr of the Seal of the Confessional Priest-penitent privilege Priest-penitent privilege in England Priest penitent privilege in France Seal of the Confessional and the Anglican Church Seal of the Confessional and the Lutheran Church Topic References Topic Topic Sources Topic this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed., 1913. The Law of the Seal of Confession. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. 